Hey, this is Jason Kincaid from TechCrunch TV. We're back. Today we're standing on Mission Street in San Francisco, and behind me we've got a big church-looking building and the Contemporary Jewish Museum, which are both very nice, but that's not why we're here today. Today we're here to see Yelp, and I know what you're thinking. Yelp is not a startup. Duly noted. Uh, we're going to mix things up. We're going to do some big tech companies, some smaller startups. Next week we'll definitely have a startup, but today, like I said, we've got Yelp, and they've got some really cool stuff to show us. So follow me. You wouldn't know it just walking past, but through these gates is Yelp. So it actually took me a while to actually figure out where it was. I wandered around here aimlessly for a while, but I found it and now we're gonna head inside because they got some really cool stuff to show us. So follow me. I hope you're still enjoying the view. Okay, so now we are in the lobby of Yelp's office, and uh, let's see if they're waiting for us. I think so. Oh, look who it is. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Jeremy. So yeah, this is Jeremy Solomon, the CEO and co-founder of Yelp. And I think you've got a pretty cool office to show us today, right? I hope so. Hope right. you enjoy it. All right, let's see it. All right, come on in. Well, over here we've got our executive boardroom, Levchin's, <laughs> uh, which is named after Max Levchin, who's the uh, co-founder of PayPal. He was my old boss and he helped finance the company at the very beginning. This is the, uh, the Kegmate, also known as Kegbot. Uh, so we've got beer on tap here, which is maintained, of course, by the engineering team. Perfect temperature at all times. This is like the coolest keg I've ever seen, by So the way. we've got an iPad up here. This was built uh, as part of our hackathon. Some folks from our mobile team uh, put this application together. And then also we've got our ID cards. So I've got my Yelp ID. So if I tap in here, then it actually pulls up my name so it knows who's drinking the beer. And of course I can rate it. You know, I've had this one, it's about four stars. And then we can give it a pour. All right, let's do that. Go this to town. And that was an awful pour on my part. I just, I want to show that. This Clearly is, you don't have a lot of experience with uh, taps. No experience at all with this. <laughs> I, Get, wow. Give it a sip, this, you gotta sip that off. Oh, I'm... <laughs> how, do you, what, how did it turn out? Three and a half, three oh, and a okay. half, four, I think. But I think it might be my fault because of the foam everywhere. Yeah, it's a little I'm, foamy. I'm sorry to get beer all over your office. Over here we've got sampled real-time search data. So searches are actually happening. Is it we sanitized real-time search data? <laughs> no, not no. sanitized. You should so weird things could that yeah, at, <laughs> at like 11 p.m. you should come in here and check it out. It might be more interesting than right now. We have all of our product managers over here in the center area. And we're disrupting the, all of their work, you're right? Yeah, really getting in the way. I like how all of them have their eyes like trained squarely at the screen, but you know they're all paying attention. See, he just looked over. <laughs> He's trying not I to screw it. up the shot. <laughs> This is the aquarium, this is kind of my favorite room. You feel like you really own the city, that San Francisco is your oyster. Hypothetically speaking, if you were to be in negotiations with Google over a possible acquisition, which office would you most likely have that in? Uh, <laughs> if it was secret, presumably you wouldn't even do it here. It would, That's it a good point. That's a good you point. Know, we've got the Four Seasons nearby. <laughs> the underground. Yeah, St. Regis across the street. You go to a more you know descript, uh, indescript location. Got it. Right. Yeah, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Over here is, of course, our mobile team works on all the iPad, iPhone, Android magic that happens at Yelp. And then this is uh, real-time data of check-ins that are happening, searches that are happening. There's different icons for different activities. You can actually see the legend up here. And then also different queries as they move up and down. Um, you this know. is interesting. Soup. Exactly. Soup is the top hit right now. I feel like you can get like a really good sense of like America's psyche, right? Just staring yeah. at the screen all day. 
You guys know all of our dark secrets, right? Like 11 p.m. What goes on at 11 p.m.? We know what your local business dark secrets okay. are. Okay. We have this thing called the, the Love Machine. Uh, Philip Rosedale, it's his new company, the person involved, uh, founder of Second Life. Mm -hmm. And so what you can do is essentially send compliments from one coworker to another. And so the person who gets the most loves each week gets this fantastic trophy. And the reason why it has so much crap on it is every week you have to add something right. to the trophy, add your own little flavor. Everybody competes very, uh, very intensely to get the, the unicorn. <laughs> the love unicorn as it is. So this is our 10th floor, which is sort of our recreational floor, our lunch room. Dog. Um, dog, this is Darwin. <laughs> he's my dog, so he's been around as long as the company's been around. Awesome. You know, actually when the site goes down, so instead of the fail well, which is associated with Twitter, we've always had uh, this photo of Darwin chewing an ethernet cable. It was actually a real situation <laughs> where when we were just starting the company, our other co-founder, Russ, you know, looked up from his uh, monitor and was like, is, is internet busted? Like, what's going on? And we looked down and Darwin had chewed through his internet cable. <laughs> so we snapped a picture of it. He's got the, the cable in his mouth and that, that shows up whenever the site goes down. Food. Over here, we've got our five-star Yelp kitchen. Our crazy AV gear. This is actually a new addition to Yelp. Because we have all these offices, we need to you know, capture the AV and make sure that it's clearly broadcast all the offices. The other offices can communicate back to us. So we've had to get a, a pretty fancy setup to make that all happen. Do you ever get like a simultaneous dance thing going? <laughs> we have had parties where like simultaneously at both offices and then they're connected by video setup and people exactly. can walk up and chat yes, with one another. It's pretty cool. <laughs> That's what I would totally do if I had remote offices. It's great Basically idea. the only thing I would do. In here we've got the game room set up. Looks like we've got Wii going, some oh, Wii tennis. And why do we have someone with rocking the drumsticks? He's gonna play along, ah, set the right. beat, set the tone Got for it. the tennis Great. game. Look at that. Good job, Matt. Thanks. Here is the, the gong, the sales gong. Really, it's a bell. <laughs> It was sent to us by our VC, Jeremy Levine, from Bessemer Venture Partners. I don't know. Jordan, can I just ring the bell? No. Uh, no. Is that bad luck? No. Bad Not even the little Never. Did you get any fun No. We've like, got TechCrunch TV here. Yeah, it's it's going to violate. No, no. It's, Isn't that we can celebrate the, the fact that TechCrunch TV. I just closed one. Why don't you ring? You really? No, no, no. All right. Hey, come on, let's do it together. <laughs> I, I, I want to see you that one. Bell one. Ring. I've never rung this long just out of superstition. So. <laughs> okay, on behalf of Anton, who just got a deal, I'm ringing the bell for him. I feel like I'm taking something from you. No, I've never, <laughs> never rung that long. All right. All right, here we go. This is what it sounds like. Yeah! <laughs> Good job. He's genuinely superstitious about the belt. Understandable. So here we've got the sweet view from the Yelp office. Uh, you know, we saw we were looking out that way towards SF MoMA before, and now here, this is our other view. So um, there's one thing we haven't seen yet. I'm wondering where you guys keep all the hardcore salespeople who coerce people into buying ads on. You know what? I don't like your attitude, sir. Mike, can you get this guy? All right, sir, you gotta go. Uh, I don't I'm know. Sorry. Come on, let's I, go. I, I, I kind of liked it here. Let's go. I'm gonna leave a bad review for you guys. Oh, sorry. Like, oh sorry. Let me get out of the way here. <laughs> All right, good riddance. One star. Arrington's gonna have to pay up. Arrington would not pay. <laughs> 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 See you later, Jason. Bye. Bye. It's been fun. It's been, fun. It's been real fun. <laughs>